Antarctica. The name conjures images of a desolate, icy wasteland, a continent of unforgiving cold and perpetual darkness for half the year. But what if this frozen desert holds secrets? Secrets of a civilization so advanced, so ancient, that it predates all known history. For centuries, whispers have echoed through time, hinting at a lost civilization swallowed by the ice. These whispers come to us in the form of ancient maps, strange artifacts, and tales passed down through generations. They speak of a time when Antarctica was a land of lush forests and advanced civilizations. Join me as we delve into the heart of this mystery. Let the exploration begin. Our ancestors have long held a fascination with the unknown. Tales of lost civilizations and forgotten lands are woven into the fabric of our collective memory. These stories passed down through millennia often hold a kernel of truth, a whisper from the past. One such whisper leads us to the icy continent of Antarctica. Ancient maps, drawn long before the continent's official discovery, depict Antarctica not as a frozen wasteland, but as a landmass with defined coastlines, rivers, and even mountain ranges. Could these ancient cartographers have possessed knowledge lost to modern man? If these whispers from the past are to be believed, then the history we have been taught is incomplete. It's time to delve deeper, to separate fact from fiction, and uncover the truth that lies buried beneath the ice. The Piri Race map, named after the 16th century Ottoman admiral who owned it, is one of the most compelling pieces of evidence pointing towards a lost Antarctic civilization. Drawn on gazelle skin, this map depicts not only the western coast of Africa and the eastern coast of South America with astonishing accuracy, but also a landmass that many believe to be Antarctica. What makes this map so intriguing is its depiction of Antarctica free of ice, with rivers, mountains, and coastlines eerily similar to modern-day maps generated using advanced sonar technology. Piri Race himself claimed that his map was based on older source maps, some dating back to the 4th century BC or even earlier. Could this chain of knowledge originate from a time when Antarctica was a thriving continent, home to a civilization advanced enough to map its coastlines and navigate the globe? While the Piri Race map offers a tantalizing glimpse into a possible past, it is not the only piece of the puzzle. Satellite imagery and ground-penetrating radar have revealed a number of anomalies beneath the Antarctic ice sheet that defy conventional explanation. These anomalies, often taking the form of massive, geometrically precise structures, hint at the possibility of artificial constructions buried beneath the ice. One such anomaly, discovered in 2016 using satellite imagery, appears to show a massive, rectangular structure nearly 90 miles long and 30 miles wide located in the Wilkes Land region of East Antarctica. This structure, dubbed the Wilkes Land Anomaly, has sparked intense debate within the scientific community. Further fueling the mystery are reports from researchers who claim to have discovered pyramids encased in ice in the Ellsworth Mountains of West Antarctica. Could these be the remnants of a lost civilization with ties to ancient Egypt? Section 5. The Piri Race Map The Piri Race Map is not merely a historical curiosity. It is a meticulously crafted document that has sparked debate and fueled speculation for decades. Critics often dismiss it as a product of its time, a flawed attempt at mapping the known world. However, such dismissals fail to address the map's most intriguing aspects. The accuracy with which the map depicts the coastlines of South America and Africa is remarkable. Even more astounding is the depiction of Antarctica. The continent's general shape, size, and orientation are remarkably accurate, especially considering it was officially discovered centuries later. The Piri Race map, with its startling accuracy and depiction of a pre-glacial Antarctica, forces us to confront a profound possibility that our understanding of history is incomplete. It hints at a time when advanced civilizations existed, capable of feats we are only now beginning to comprehend. Section 6, Operation High Jump. The mystery of Antarctica deepened in 1946 with Operation High Jump, a massive naval expedition led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd. Officially, the expedition's purpose was to map the Antarctic region and establish research bases. However, some researchers believe there was a hidden agenda, one shrouded in secrecy and fueled by rumors of Nazi activity in the region. Operation High Jump was a formidable undertaking, involving over 4,000 personnel, 13 ships, and 33 aircraft. 
The scale of the operation, coupled with its unusual secrecy, has led some to speculate that its true purpose was to investigate rumors of a hidden Nazi base in Antarctica. Fueling these suspicions are Admiral Byrd's own cryptic statements upon his return. In a 1947 interview, Byrd spoke of an enemy capable of flying from pole to pole at incredible speeds. These statements, coupled with the unusual secrecy surrounding Operation High Jump, have only deepened the mystery of Antarctica. Section 7, The Hidden Expert. Deep within the archives of forgotten history lies a name whispered in hushed tones, Professor Karl Haushofer. A German geographer and geopolitical strategist, Haushofer's influence on Nazi ideology is well documented. However, his connection to Antarctica and a potential lost civilization remains shrouded in mystery. Haushofer was a firm believer in the concept of a hollow Earth, a theory that posits the existence of a vast, habitable world beneath the Earth's surface. Could Haushofer's theories have influenced Nazi exploration of Antarctica? Some researchers believe that Haushofer possessed ancient maps and texts that hinted at the existence of a lost civilization in Antarctica. They speculate that this information, combined with Haushofer's theories about a hollow Earth, may have fueled Nazi expeditions to the continent in search of advanced technology or even contact with this lost civilization. His story adds another layer of intrigue to the already enigmatic history of Antarctica. The declassification of government documents in recent years has shed new light on the mysteries of Antarctica. These documents, often heavily redacted, hint at a concerted effort to keep certain discoveries under wraps. They reveal a pattern of secrecy surrounding Antarctica that raises more questions than it answers. One such document declassified by the CIA in 2017 contains aerial photographs of Antarctica taken during a reconnaissance mission in the 1960s. While most of the photographs show typical Antarctic landscapes, one image stands out. It depicts a large circular structure partially obscured by snow and ice. Another declassified document, this one from the FBI archives, mentions the discovery of an ancient artifact during an expedition to Antarctica in the 1950s. The release of these documents, while tantalizing, only deepens the mystery of Antarctica. The evidence, though circumstantial, paints a compelling picture. Ancient maps, anomalous structures, cryptic statements from explorers, and declassified documents all point towards a possibility that challenges our understanding of history. Could there be a lost civilization frozen in time buried beneath the ice of Antarctica? Imagine a civilization so advanced that it mapped the stars, harnessed free energy, and possessed technology that dwarfs our own. Now imagine that civilization, caught in the throes of a global cataclysm, forced to seek refuge in the one place on Earth capable of withstanding the impending disaster Antarctica. This, my friends, is not mere fantasy. It is a possibility supported by a growing body of evidence. We are on the verge of a discovery that could rewrite human history. The mysteries surrounding Antarctica are far from solved. In fact, each answer seems to only generate more questions. If there was indeed an advanced civilization in Antarctica, what happened to them? What caused their demise? And what secrets might they have left behind? The implications of such a discovery are profound. We are left to grapple with the possibility that our understanding of history, of our place in the universe, is fundamentally flawed. The quest for answers continues. The world watches with bated breath, waiting for the next revelation, the next piece of the puzzle to fall into place. The journey into the mysteries of Antarctica is not for the faint of heart. It requires an open mind, a willingness to question everything, and a thirst for knowledge that cannot be quenched. It is a journey that will challenge your preconceived notions and push the boundaries of your imagination. I urge you, dear reader, to delve deeper into this enigma. Explore the ancient maps, research the declassified documents, and listen to the whispers of the past. The truth is out there, waiting to be discovered. Share this knowledge with others. Antarctica is calling. Will you answer?